welcome everybody. Cindy A. Lewis here. Today is Crafting Therapy 109. Oh, and my voice is cracking. 109. Welcome. Today we're going to continue working on our altered journal that we started in Crafts and Games Live this week. And I've already pulled all my pages out and set up my pockets. This is what we're going to use this month to do some of our fun um, page designs. And we're using the pages from Rustic Playgrounds Travel Junk Journal Kit, which you all picked out on Tuesday night. So we're going to look at the pages. I printed them a couple different ways so that you could see. I printed them on some colored paper like parchment color or a kind of an earth tone and then I also printed some on white so you can see how they turn out differently and uh, because this is a travel uh, junk journal and the designs are you know vintage kind of grungy we're gonna go with that style for this one and uh, we can add our flair to it however you want um, but today we're going to do the cover and um, because I don't want Blade Runner um, or Blade Breaker on my spine, we're going to cover that and we're going to put on the front, which I haven't decided about the back yet, um, but I did print onto some canvas that I had, printable canvas. This is one of the pages. This is the one we'll put on the front. And we'll decide if we're going to add anything else to it later. But we're going to put that on and some ribbon from the front to close it. Um, because the inside has this beautiful map in this particular book. And so I didn't want to cover this up. Which normally you would do your closure and on the inside. So we're just going to do it behind this fabric. And then we're going to... Um, I'm going to show you uh, maybe do a couple of pages uh, with ink and um, that'll be it for today. This month, uh, don't forget the junk journal mystery box giveaway that is in the September 1st video. During the month, we're going to be doing some fun comparisons on things, um, styles of cards or construction that you could do for cards, as well as what you could do for your page design. So that'll be fun too. And uh, let's get started. This is the book that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It was Blade Breaker. I uh, had a cool cover actually. Um, a fantasy book, I guess, but I don't really mind much about that. But these are all pages that we can use to make pockets and do different things with, even in the future. It doesn't have to be with this book. So always save whatever pages you pull out for your altered book journal. Now I want to do a quick flip. This is um, the inside. You always keep the first four pages or so. I've already done my clips and uh, different uh, pockets for inside. This back also had that cool um, map. So I'm excited because we chose Travel Junk Journal. So we're going to work on the outside. Now I do want to show you, this is one of the designs from uh, the paper kit, the design kit from Rustic Playground. Rustic Playground has a Vintage Visionaries Club and they also, she also has some fun kits in Etsy if you don't want to join the Vintage Visionary Club. But um, this is a cool kit and if you're interested in Carla's um, joining, use the word Cindy for 50% off your first year. So that'll be cool and uh, you'll save some money. So anyway, I decided to print this on a canvas. So this is a printable canvas and I got this from Amazon. And uh, I went ahead and printed the full sheet, um, but this is what I think I'll put on the front and we'll play with that a little bit. I think we'll ink it and um, have some fun with that one. But I did wanna show you just a quick look. Uh, some of my pages I printed. These are pages from uh, the kit, 
And I wanted to show you some on the white print versus on the colored paper background. So depending on what kind of look you're going for, we may use both in here, but um, you can see the difference of how it prints. Uh, let's see if I can get it up a little bit for you. So this is a light print. I kind of like the way it does on the color paper on that one. Uh, this one is white paper. It slipped in there on me. And uh, the pockets are very fun. And then uh, these are pages that you could fold if you wanted to. But uh, we're going to actually use the altered book. So it's not going to be uh, the same as if you were sewing in your signatures. But these are all really fun pages. Um, I like the way it prints on this. Plus it gives me uh, not just a white background. Um, you can also see the pockets printed here. I think there's about 30, was it 33 uh, pages of designs in this particular kit. So anyway, lots of fun uh, to play with here. And these are real fun too. And I printed these also um, on double page. So you can see that here. If you wanted to make it smaller, you wouldn't have to print the page a single page like this. So anyway, however you want to print it, uh, once you get the kit, uh, it is yours to play with. So anyway, we've got all these fun pages to work with. I'm going to put these aside for now because we're not going to really need those for today's. All right, so this is my altered book. In order to do the closure, I have to do that first. And I decided since the book is black, I'm gonna do black ribbon. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. And I need it to be about double this. Uh, so, and I'm estimating, I'm not, uh, you would just take the, the width of your book and you would double that and make sure it goes around your spine. And then you have plenty to tie with because you can always cut that off. Now I'm going to use um, my regular glue that I like. And we're just going to glue that on. So I usually put it about in the middle. So we've got, got it in half here. And we'll start here in the middle. So we'll just start right here. And it doesn't have to be exact, right? But we'll just put it right there. Okay, and it's okay if it's not um, perfect because we're going to cover it up anyway. All right, so, and if it's bleeding over, it's okay because we're going to cover that anyways too. All right, so then I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it into the hinge here. And then I'm going to glue it really good here. All right, and that's all I'm gonna do for this until we cover it. So I'm pressing down in that hinge because I do want that um, to be able to open and close well. So we wanna make sure that we get that in there. Okay, and then I'll just flip it over and do the same thing on this side. Now I wanna cover this up. So I have some linen book cloth and let me just, let me just show you here. I'm going, I cut it to fit the spine. I'm going to glue that on the outside and we'll trim it. And then it will fit around the side like this. And then we'll cover that up on the front and the back. I just haven't decided what I wanted to do in the back yet. So we're going to just go ahead and glue this part on. And it's just glue. Um, so we're just going to glue it on. And it's not on the inside. Normally I would put this as my hidden spine and I'd sew into this uh, all my signatures. But this time we're gonna put it on the back as if we're uh, repairing the spine on the back. And I cut it to be a couple inches over on both sides. And we just want to glue this into place. And then we're gonna glue it into that hinge as well. And then the front and the back. All right, so then when you get your uh, book cloth 
or whatever you want to use. You could use fabric as well uh, over your your spine and glue it into place. You see your ribbon closure is there. Then you decide what you want to put on the front. Now I have a little space uh, around the edges and I think I might uh, figure out something I want to do with that but I'm not sure exactly what I want yet. So we're just gonna take this one right here and I'm actually gonna follow the lines here that are on the, um, the actual design that are kind of deckled and then I can um, maybe add some ink to this. And then we have this also, I may just put that on the back. I haven't really decided. I am going with sort of this, this grungy black um, look. I do wanna bring in that, this black around the edges of my uh, graphic here, this page. And I might even bring in some color uh, with silver and gilding wax. I may do that, we'll see. I do like this blue in here. And um, I like that hint of blue. I don't know, we'll see. Let's look at this and see how this looks here. Cause I'm just kind of playing with it and I really do like that. Now this um, is not quite the size, which is okay, but I do wanna bring it to the edge here I like how it um, sort of is framed. I want to put um, something around the top and bottom and um, I'm trying to decide what it is that I want to put there because with the travel theme, uh, you don't want to put a bunch of lace, if that makes sense. All right, I did find some pieces that I have that I think I will put on here for travel. It'll be good. And then I have uh, some stickers that look metal and we'll put those on as well. But we're gonna put them on here before we glue this on to the uh, cover. And then we're also going to, you know, put some metal book corners, but we don't have to do that necessarily today. The other side, while I'm waiting on my glue gun to heat up, is I do think we'll put this here as um, just a continuation of that page. So I will ink this up and go ahead and glue this one on. And it's just gonna be a simple background page. That's glued on. So now let's go ahead and get this one prepared. So I have a clock and a couple of wheels. We have a camera, so we could put that. And then we also have the train. And I think I'll just um, put the train on at the bottom. And then, but it does really stick out. So I don't know, maybe we'll use the train for a bookmark. I don't want it to stick out too much. All right, using charms and that kind of thing is just a fun way to accent uh, the cover. I'm not gonna put a title plate, but I am gonna put this on with some hot glue because I want it to stay. Um, I don't want a strong bond. And so we'll just put this clock here. I'm gonna cover up my sailboat there. Do have a little globe here, so we're gonna put that on at the top where the map is. There is a top map and a bottom map. And it is a charm, but we're just gonna adhere it up here at the top. And I think that's okay. And I've just picked out a couple of uh, these cogs and wheels. And so we're just gonna glue this on here. And this one kind of on top of it. I like this rusty color. So I like that, not too much. There we go. And then the camera, we're just gonna put underneath this other camera. And let's see. Um, 
let's just do it this way. There we go. Now our front has a little bit more to add to it. Okay, all right, so we're gonna put this like this all the way to the edge. Just give it a little bit. I think I'm gonna like it. I, I'm just working on what is it that I want. All right, then I'm gonna put the book corners on uh, today. Go ahead and do that. And we will glue these. I always open them up and I put a little glue on the corner, just a little dab. And then I slide them over and then I use my needle nose pliers to crimp them on, make sure they're in place. Make sure that they are secure. And that's gonna look real nice. All right, I've got this on and the back is on, we're all good. Uh, I did decide I do want a title plate up here, name plate, um, but I don't wanna punch these brads through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue them in place, then I'm gonna fold them and then I'm gonna snip off the ends and then just glue it on here and leave this open where I can put in the title. All right, so the outside, I've de gotta determine what I wanna name this journal. But um, so we've covered the outside, we covered the spine, we put book corners on and the closure and then we put the backing on. So in the next video, we'll start working on some pages and some fun things to accent with. Uh, we'll probably do some like simple cards and then show how we can add that into our journal as a, a page idea. So it'll be really fun. I uh, hope you'll join me for the next video and thanks so much for watching.